Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to use a Fiddler autoresponder feature in order to speed up your development process of um, client-side uh, resources. Uh, when I'm saying client-side resources, most um, it's, uh, the highest probability is that you want to develop essentially a JavaScript which you want to test without deploying it uh, to the server. And this is actually the whole purpose of the autoresponder. It essentially serves the files from your local system. Um, it, it intercepts the traffic between your web, web server and your local machine, essentially serves your local files to the browser. In this way, you can essentially test functionality of your code without running through the deployments. And to show you how this works, I choose uh, Dynamics 365 because Dynamics 365 is by default very very difficult platform uh, to deploy anything to and it always takes a lot of time so what i did is i essentially created a script a javascript which is called this is a test and uh, obviously i created uh, two files one file is called test script the other one is called test script autoresponder now the test script is this one so it just has a one function which is saying alert this is alert function without uh, the fiddler the another one saying hey this is the alert with fiddler so what we want to do is essentially instead of running this script we want to run this one we're going to serve this from the local machine okay so what do we need to do first obviously we need to start fiddler and uh, fiddler is already running for me and i created already a rule so the rule is saying okay every time when um, i have uh, the request and uh, if the request matches to dp this is a test i will respond with my local uh, file that's it the file that i showed you just now i also enable the rule and i said okay unmatched request uh, request will just run so it's it's absolutely no problem okay uh, one thing that should be very, very important for you is that you uh, set up the configuration of the HTTPS traffic. So you, you, you essentially want to en enable uh, Fiddler to decrypt HTTPS sessions. Else you might get a message that your connection is not private every time when you start essentially any page these days. So in, in my case, this is already done. And what I want to do now is I want to just open my uh website in this case crm and i want to go to your account so the function that i have on the account is just run the one that is going to show the alert i'm just going to create a new account and this is showing me the window already hey you know what this is alert with fiddler and now if i do this if i just disable this so now i, I will not have any rule active i'm going to just save this if i just refresh this page I will not get anything. So this is the alert without a fiddler. And one pretty awesome thing that you should do every time when you develop a web resources is that you, you know you use a Chrome. I use the Chrome. And in the developer settings, you have this settings icon. Choose this one and just say um, to disable uh, JavaScript uh, caching uh, while using uh, DevOps so disabling the cache while devops is open this obviously is going to bring a bit more traffic because you're not caching only javascript files but other files as well but anyways this is going to ensure you that when you're running this uh this devops that uh, sorry dev tools that you're getting really the latest version of your files so again i have a fiddler now let me just do it like this quite simple so I'm just going to enable now request. Let me just refresh the page. And now it is going to say that this is alert with Fiddler. Disable it again, or just disable all the rules. Refresh it, and it's saying this is alert without a Fiddler. So this is a quite handy way to test your functionalities. So I hope that you will have a lot of luck with uh, playing around with the Fiddler it's going to save you a tremendous amount of time, especially if you're working with Dynamics 365. Thank you very much for your time.